Hello, I'm Phyllis Walker. I'm a medical case manager with the Augusta University Ryan White program. Um, I've been with the clinic since December 2019 and I've been with the actual AU hospital for over five years um, in social work department. Now, Ryan White Clinic are for um, patients that have, uh, from all walks of life, that, have, that are positive for HIV. We provide treatment and care, case management services, um, medication management, and distribution for antiviral medications to treat the HIV. Well, I've worked in social work for over 20 plus years and, and through Department of Family and Children's Services, through treatment centers, and also social work in the hospital setting. So when I was made aware of the position in medical case management with Ryan White, I thought it was an excellent opportunity to service the communities in a, a form that I had never experienced before, and it's been very re rewarding to me. I enjoy working with my patients. As I said, they, came, they come from all different walks of life, um, and to provide one-on-one -on -one case management with them and assist them with programs that they may need or services they may need is very it's very helpful to them and rewarding to myself because I can actually see the actions of my work in medical case management. My patients that I work with, it's, it's um, a lot of work, but it's, it's never boring. It's fun. I enjoy working with them. Of course, the, their um, actual medical issues are not comical, but just the the interaction with them and knowing that when I they I help them they are very appreciative of it. So coming in every day and and developing a relationship with my patients is very uh, very beneficial for myself and, and and it's rewarding work. Well, we've been in this building for over a year and I could never come up with the best uh, I guess decorative scheme for my office and I was like I want something that's going that's going to stand out something cheerful something more than the ordinary so I was like well why not do something positive for um, the culture that we service um, so I think we thought of vibrant colors and of course with pride uh, month and what pride represents why not the, the rainbow you know so that's where the idea came from and I Describe some pictures that I wanted or some things and just with her she was just took it and ran with it So she she did a lot of uh, great work. I feel for me well, First one I'm going to do is this this uh, wreath that she did for me. It's a pride wreath and um, it's uh, I think it's very pretty um, but it symbolizes the uh, the rainbow that is a significant uh, a symbol for people in the uh, LGBTQ plus community and uh, it's made out of uh, clothing pins. So I thought that was pretty uh, one thing that she did for me. Uh, she also made some outside of the pictures that you see she did some blocks for me and it's different um, uh, orientations. So this is an ally uh, block. It has the um, black and white stripes in the back and then the rainbow. Uh, pyramid on, on the top. And then this one is for um, transgender. And it's the pink and the blue and with the white stripe. So she did some other blocks with, for me for different uh, orientations. Well, I think um, one of the first things that there is someone that they really trust they would, that they can talk to, you know, talk it over with someone. Um, if it's not a family member or a close friend, maybe someone, uh, a clergy member, someone that they can, they trust in. And then they can always, uh, if they have questions about um, HIV care or treatment care, they can always call our clinic here. But um, I, I guess the first step would be for, for them to, to talk it over with someone. And we can also, if they do decide to come to our clinic for, and they are, positive for HIV and need treatment, they, they, we do have supportive services that can deal, that can treat them with uh, counseling and um, care for, the, for that, but um, 
but I think that, you know, first start with someone that you trust with having that conversation with. I wanted to wish everyone a happy Pride Month.